Hello friends, family, and countrymen. In my last video, I talked about marketing. And then as soon as I got done recording the video, I turned on the radio, and there was a Burger King app or, Um Here's the thing about marketing. And I've learned this uh, myself as someone who does marketing for several um, several projects and several things that I that I work on. <clears throat> if you're gonna market something, like let's say a breakfast biscuit at a fast food joint, don't crap on what's even a quarter of the culture of today. Uh, so basically what it was doing was it was like, oh, I'm so cool. I'm just gonna like take crap on hashtags and blah blah blah. Am I trending now? That kind of thing. Which is utterly annoying. Because it was clearly written by someone in the 50s, 60s, who doesn't understand trending. You know? If you're gonna market yourself or your business or your brand, you have to market it properly and you have to market it to a whole audience, not just a quarter of an audience, which I assume is what you're trying to do with, I guess, an older generation. Um, but an older generation doesn't need marketing for fast food. I'm sorry, but they don't. If you look at statistics, older generation is spending a lot more time at fast food joints than millennials and Gen Ys. Gen X's, whatever. The baby boomers are spending much more time in fast food joints, especially for breakfast, than any other age demographic. You can look this up. Also, literally just go to a McDonald's on a morning. You'll see that array. Anyways, why does this guy have his blinker on behind me? There's nowhere for you to turn. Anyways, so yeah, back to marketing. Sorry, I got distracted. Um, no clue what I was saying. I was just very passionate. Anyways, I guess main main topic. There are ways to promote your um, your business or your idea, which makes fun of someone or a group of people, I guess. But you have to do it appropriately. Okay. So let's say let's take it back. Burger King, let's take it back a few steps and just throw something out there, like actually using hashtags properly, uh, which is a good marketing tool. Many companies have found great success in using hashtags, as well as uh, socio social trends um, are literally setting trends for social awareness, social um, abilities. And what you need to do is, as a marketer, as someone who markets a specific item or a specific idea, you need to focus on promoting, not degrading something. So of course, you can make a joke. I'm not saying that you can't. You can make a, am I trending now joke, like Motel 6 does. Motel 6 does a great job of their marketing uh, while throwing out jokes because they don't attack people they don't attack a specific uh, age group they don't do stuff like that what Motel 6 does is they explain I can't remember his name the owner of Motel 6 does its commercials he's like well we'll always keep the light on you can hashtag that boy just as a joke I'm sure that's not how it actually goes, but the fact that it works so well for him 
he, he doesn't um, attack a specific people. He doesn't take a joke too far. Their marketing team did very well. They clearly researched what they were going to say and what they were going to do about hashtags and tweeting and all that. Um, autocorrect. They made a great one on autocorrect. Um, without having a turn to vulgar or anything like that. But the jokes were good and the marketing was good. So you need to if you're going to be a marketing specialist, if you're going to go out and market something, and I'm talking to you, Burger King team, whoever does your radio adverts, whatever, you need to focus on promoting, not degrading, as well as looking at statistics and focus groups. Focus groups are key, and I'm not talking about one, one focus group of 10 baby boomers. I'm talking an entire focus Sorry that the video got cut short, um, I had been recording a lot of videos that day, and my, uh, space on my phone filled up. Uh, so let me finish my thought, um, alright, so I'm not talking about a focus group specifically with baby boomers, a group of ten baby boomers, or ten groups of five baby boomers, or whatever, I'm talking an entire focus group or focus groups of varied ages and backgrounds. That is the best way to find out if something is going to work the way that you're trying to market it or not. If you and your company or you or your company can't do it yourselves, hire someone. Hire a marketing specialist. Hire a team to do it for you. There's no reason at this point in your lives, as a company, that you should not be, excuse me, sorry, that you should not be able to market yourself properly. Hell, if you really need it, hire me, okay? I don't really want the job, I don't need the job, but if you can't do it, someone will. And that someone just so happens to be me. That's it for this video. Um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. All that fun stuff. Follow me on Twitter at Plasmatic210. Link is in the description. And as always, in every description of every video I put out, with the exception of like three or four, uh, if you need to contact me, go ahead and... Look up the phone number and the email that's in the description below. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.